Hello, hello, hello everyone. Today we are playing Pikmin 1 and 2. Well, actually just the first Pikmin, but uh, very excited to play this. Very, very happy that it's out on the Switch, finally. Physically at least. So anyway, let's get straight into it. How is everyone doing this evening? And I am literally about three, three rescues away from 100% completing Pikmin 4. And I was kind of hoping to get it done by the start of this stream, but that didn't quite happen. So let's just play Pikmin 1 anyway, because I've been so excited to replay this game. It's honestly one of my favourite games that Nintendo's ever made. It was one of my favourite games on the GameCube, so let's see whether it holds up to my memories. Here we go. <clears throat> I will say, I remember this cutscene uh, really blowing me away as a kid. Or, I guess as a teenager. By the time Pikmin 1 came out. But I did pick it up on day one, back in the GameCube days. And I really did enjoy it. In fact, I felt Pikmin is one of the only series that I've picked up every single game on day one since the very first entry. Anyway, how epic is this? It may look a little dated compared to today's standards, but at the time I was like, oh my god, it's so cool. There's so much to do. Here he is, Captain Olimar. And look at that fuzzy texture. Wow, you can really tell the textures are a massive step down in quality from Pikmin 4. But the models still look nice. My name is Captain Olimar. While travelling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no, better not think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. Here we go. At first, it doesn't actually let you uh, change the camera or anything. So you sort of have to stumble around with this really zoomed in view for a little bit. And we just discovered our first onion. And we get the red Pikmin, which are the ones that are good at fighting and breaking down walls. A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it was waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. Oh my god. It takes ages for them to... Uh, to sprout in the original. In the new one, they basically like pop up straight away. And then towards the end of the game, you can whistle and they'll just burst out the floor, which is really useful. The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think that it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. Breaking the fourth wall a little bit there, Mr. Olimar. Extraordinary! When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try and grab it and throw it with A. And I will call it to my side with B. Hmm. Or perhaps it will react to me pressing X. Or moving R while holding L as well. The following controls appear to allow several viewpoints. Snap, left and right, rotate, zoom, up and down, change perspective. I must survive. I need to familiarise myself with these controls and my surroundings. Okay, that's... Uh, I can't remember if you need to hold L in the original. It's kind of weird. I'm so used to playing the game... The, uh, the Wii version, with its motion controls, that aiming the cursor like this feels a little strange. But I'm sure I'll get used to it in no time. 
Yay, now we have three. The army is slowly building. Astonishing. The onion has sown more seeds. <clears throat> and I got bubbly in my throat from drinking the monster too fast. The small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life form more. It's weird that the uh, radar doesn't lock onto the uh, onto the seed, like it does in the new one. I wonder if you can still hold R to get the uh, close-up view. Hmm, maybe not. Or maybe that was only in the second one. I'm going to have to get used to these camera controls. They're quite different. Looks like there's no pop-in, which is good. Kind of a shame that it still only uh, runs at 30 frames a second, though. So, let me know, anyone who's watching, have you ever played Pikmin before? Have you played the new one? Have you ever played Pikmin 1 or 2? Or did you play Pikmin 3 on the Wii U, which is my favourite of the bunch? Or the Switch as well, no? I guess it also came out on the Switch. Gonna give me loads of seeds. They take a while to respond again, don't they? Expect to hear that sound a lot. That's basically you moving the Pikmin around. And you can't actually do that in the later games. I think starting from number three, they actually took that feature out, which is a shame because it's kind of fun to, to make them follow your command like that. And it's basically the fastest way to get them to latch onto things. You've kind of got something in Pikmin 4, which is similar, where you got that rush attack where you press the X button and they fire in one direction. But it's not quite the same as directing them like that. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum it all up after I've learnt the Pikmin conduct. Approach and hold A to pick up sprouts, press A, blah, 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 blah. I know how to do all that. There's the first part. A very low poly engine. Amazing! There's no mistake in it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I've already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but... How will I get it back to the dolphin? I'll show you how, Mr. Omar. Oh, not quite. I was getting a little carried away first. Oh, just one. It feels so much slower. Can you still add more to it? Yeah, you can. There we go. Put a seven on that one, they'll carry it faster. And if I remember right, there's bombs in here that yellow ones can pick up a bit later on. But for now, let's just follow all these guys back. And we should have enough to bring the engine over. I suppose because it's in HD, you can actually play the entire game fully zoomed out like this. Or I guess like that, if you want a, a really zoomed out camera. I kind of like this middle one, I think, so I might just stick to this. It's crazy how much slower the Pikmin sprout in this one. When many Pikmin seeds sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them all from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks, because I guess I'll have to get it all done by holding down A. Yes, I noticed that when I add Pikmin to the group, they become filled with excitement and flushed with a bright colour. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to the differences is bound to help me distinguish between Pikmin. The, yeah, that's basically just telling you that you can separate them like that. And when you do that, that just means that 
they sort of latch on to whatever's closest. If there's anything for them to do, anyway. Hey, EM plays. Or EM plays. How are you doing today? Have you played the Pikmin games before? We've got 21 now. We can easily get this. Actually, yeah, you can just freeze them in place. You can see that little frozen one there in the corner. There he is. Even though this is a GameCube game, some of the textures still look nice. Like, the bricks and the floor look really uh, low-res these days, but the flowers look pretty nice still. They have a nice alpha map over them. Or the leaves on that look nice. It's definitely missing a lot of uh, detail. And um, look at the texture on the side of that rock. That's uh, that's terrible. But I can't complain too much. You know, it is a GameCube game. <coughs> Yay! I've almost 100% completed number four. I was playing it again last night, and I have three. I think I have three more. Um, three more shipmates to rescue. Or whatever they're called. So yeah, almost done. Yay, there we go. We got the engine back in the Dolphin. Which is, of course, called that because the GameCube was originally known as the Dolphin. Still doesn't exactly look very safe to fly. Oh, glorious. With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back towards home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. Exciting. The game's already off to a great start. And if I remember right, you only get 30 days in order to try and track down all the parts for the ship and make it off the planet. So Pikmin 1 is a little bit uh, tense in that sense because they pretty much removed that aspect of the uh, of the games for the later entries. Although there was a really nice callback to this first game in Pikmin 4 which I really appreciated. I won't spoil it but uh, M plays I'm sure you know you know what I'm on about. One day since impact I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface, or if they merely decided to join me for other reasons. Either way, it seems like they'll help me again tomorrow. The Dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on, on planet Hockertate. I've never actually said Hockertate out loud. I've read it so many times, but I've never actually said it out loud before. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the key to my survival, I'll name it the Forest of Hope. I'll explore it tomorrow. Are we ready to venture into the Forest of Hope? Uh, Nomad X7 is asking me, what is my favourite GameCube game? Now... I did do a top GameCube games video a while back, but I can't actually remember what I said on there. So, off the top of my head, um, what would it be actually? F Zero GX, maybe. I really, really love that game. I can't remember what I said in my video though. It could have been. Uh, I have no idea. Sonic Adventure 2? Although I kind of cast that as a Dreamcast game, but... Anyway, Pikmin's on the list somewhere. My dolphin has returned to the surface, along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand by the light beneath and press A. Yeah, the video is quite old now, so I should probably do another one. Do an updated one. And my tastes have probably changed a bit, too. Since then. Uh, some other ones that I would say probably belong in my top list. Star Fox Adventures I really enjoyed. I know some people don't like it because they just think it's a Zelda ripoff, but... I really liked it. Wind Waker and... <laughs> look at him standing on the top of the bridge. You're not meant to be up there. Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, obviously, on the list. 
And a few third party games too, like I really enjoyed the Tony Hawk's games of that generation. I'm putting the rest of them at the top two. Can I hit the wall as well? I don't think it makes any difference on this game. Nothing else to do in this area? I guess we find the yellow ones here because that is a, a bridge that the yellow ones can uh, destroy. And there's a yellow pellet right there too. I thought people didn't care about the Harvest Moon games anymore since uh, Natsume branched out to do Story of Seasons. Isn't that the ones that everyone likes these days? Harvest Moon in name only, right? Or are they are they getting better? I don't even know who publishes them now. Is it Numskull? Uh, I'll save the yellow pellets. And yeah, they still take three. There we go. Oh no. The angle's a bit weird. I can't quite tell whether, uh, whether I hit them on the head or not. Let's send some over to this bridge. Already, I can say that the way this game's structured, I prefer more than Pikmin 4. Just the amount of different things that you can do at the same time with the Pikmin still feels really good today. And uh, I guess we haven't got a map yet. That was weird, seeing the Switch controller. They grow so slowly in this one. Grow faster. I'm going to waste all day waiting for them to pick up. we got a good bunch out there. And it's weird not having Atachi to help me out as well. Keep going round. Oh my god, you spend half the game just picking the Pikmin up out the ground. And one more. Then we can head back off on our adventures. They're still busy. I presume there's still nectar in this game. Oh, he's still alive. No! Die. And don't eat my Pikmin either. Let's see how many this needs. It's the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. It has unlimited energy supply. I won't need to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my flight, my fight for survival a bit easier. Let's send everyone up to it. It needs 40. Luckily, I've got 40, but not yet. Not with me, anyway. Let's break open these. And the uh, the trick with this guy is to come around the back and throw them on him while he's asleep. I probably should bring more with me. He's going to get eaten. Oh no! There's my first loss of Pikmin life. Yay, we did it. I'm so used to pressing right on the D-pad to, um... There we go, 8, 9, 10. And you can have this red pellet right there. And I'm still trying to get used to the weird control scheme. Oh. And you can't call them back until they're 100% finished with uh, throwing the pellets away. I'm actually only going to get 40 and then wait, because I think if you leave them in the ground a bit longer, they actually start growing uh, start growing flowers, which means that they actually begin to move a bit faster. So Actually, we can throw one over there, and the rest of them can come and help with this. That should be 40. There we go, now they can carry that. <clears throat> They're busy building the bridge. Unfortunately, there's no magic radar thing to ask them to come back to you like there is in Pikmin 4. So there is a lot of back and forth. Uh, looks like we'll come up there a bit later. Let's go and take these guys over to the bridge. And it's kind of weird that it shows the blue pellets as well before... Um, yeah, go and help. Go and help your friends. There we go. That should be done in no time. And I'm leaving these in the ground a little bit longer. Or should I pick them up now to go and break that wall down? 
You have to be really conscious about the time limit in this one. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and pick them all up and throw them against the wall. Because they don't seem to be changing. Yay, there we go, part number two. <clears throat> this should light things up. No more candles for me. I've now recovered two out of 30 parts. If I find just three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capacity capabilities. Yay, well done, everyone. Now, let's... Uh, Bring them all over here very slowly. Come on, you can go faster than that. And smush them all against the wall. There we go. And have they finished building the bridge? Yes, they have. You should actually wait until it turns the right colour, because you get twice the uh, the amount in the onion, but never mind. And I'm not sure where this one's going to go. They're probably going to end up going around the back, so I don't want to pick that up just yet. So I'll just bring these ones round to help with the bridge. Well, I guess the bridge might even be finished by the time I get over there. Yep. Okay. Everyone, come this way. And... My clock has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Yes, I know that. That basically says that, uh, make sure you know what time of day it is because you have to make it back to the onion before sunset. There we go. And I think we've got the map now. No, we still don't have the map. Um, Ace Attorney Trilogy launches today on Game Pass. That's cool. I've actually been thinking for a long while that I should try playing some more of the Ace Attorney games, because I've only actually played the first one. So, if you would recommend number three, well, the trilogy. Oh my god! That was uh, a bit of a dangerous way of doing that. But we found the yellow Pikmin, so yay! That's something. Yeah, I got the Rug Ally recently, and it came with a, um... Uh, should I see if there's any in there? Oh, there's one on the floor. There we go. Our first yellow Pikmin! Woo! The colour is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one has what, in some circles, would be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? I must be sure to observe it closely. I can hold a Pikmin for a moment with A and then swap it for another by pressing R. That is something else that's very different uh, compared to Pikmin 4. Because basically in Pikmin 4 you can just choose which ones you pick up by just cycling through it. Uh, what can I get these guys to do? I still don't have a map. I suppose just leave all them here. The good thing about Pikmin 1 is that it actually separates them out a lot nicer. So if you just want to separate the colours, you can easily just put them all in idle mode. And yeah, the yellow ones can pick up the bombs. Will he be shocked and amazed when, when it comes back over? Here we go. Got to have an explanation. <clears throat> the yellow Pikmin has picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the yellow Pikmin, but just what are these strange glowing stones? Brightly coloured cracks cover them. Perhaps these cracks indicate that there was tremendous power locked away within. This merits further research. Olimar, I'll show you what the stones mean. Now, step back. The glowing rocks the yellow Pikmin picked up seems to be explosive stones. Oh my god. Perhaps they know that these stones can be used as powerful weapons. The bomb rocks are dangerous, so I must take care when using them, but they should be able to blast open the stone walls that block the pathways. 
I may even be able to use them against some of the wild creatures. I must be vigilant. When I throw bomb rock carrying Pikmin and give them orders, they will toss their bomb rocks at nearby walls or obstacles. The explosive power of the bomb rocks is tremendous, so I must keep my distance. I don't want to blow them up. I don't know why it feels the need to zoom in so extreme. I probably don't need four. Is that a safe distance? I think so. Let's see if we can drop two at once. Yeah, we didn't need that many. Although we do need some for this side. Why does that not blow up the other bombs? Oh well. They've both exploded now. But let's get some more pellets first. And then we can call the rest of these guys back. It is weird coming from Pikmin uh, 4 and not being able to call them all back over in one go. And these guys are stuck on the wall. There we go. I have to remember to keep holding L to do the... Uh, I've made yet another Pikmin-related discovery. Just when I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field, the onion stopped expelling seeds. Have I got 100 already? No way. Yet the total number of Pikmin continued to climb. It seems that once there's 100 in the field, the subsequent seeds get stored inside the onion. Thus, no more than 100 can be in the field at one time in any area. It is true. Something must have made an explosion of Pikmin. There's definitely not a hundred here. Maybe there's a load on the other side. I've got 52. Oh, they're all over there. Look at them all. There's hundreds. Come on, we got time to go back over. Should I throw some yellow ones at these? Come on! Why are you so slow? Right, I'll leave them to take them back over. And we have a lot to pick up here. And some of them have started budding. There we go. That means that they'll move a little bit faster. Hopefully there's still nectar like there is in the later games in this one. I can't quite remember whether there is or not. Or whether you just need to leave them to sprout longer. They haven't quite flowered yet, so they're not going to be full speed. But they'll be a little bit closer at least. Hey, I thought I brought a yellow one over there. There you go. Let's see how much we can get done in one day. Do I even need any more bombs? I guess I can use the bombs to throw at the uh, enemies. I almost thought I'd thrown one with a bomb then. That would be dangerous. Something else cool about this game. You can actually see them carrying the bombs. In Pikmin 4, it just puts them straight into your... Uh, straight into your bag. So... If we separate them, can we just take the ones that have bombs? I only want you guys. There we go. Let's see what we can do here. Oh no, why did he drop it? Okay, everyone. That didn't work quite according to plan. I don't know why he's deciding to not throw the bomb sometimes. Now he threw it. But he also threw it at the other Pikmin too. 
I can't quite figure out why that's happening. My clock is indicating the approach of sunset. Pikmin waiting beneath the dolphin and onions will probably enter the onions on their own, but if I don't call back the stragglers and add them to my group, they may not be able to get back. I'm sure that the Pikmin still planted are safe, but I'm somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. I should actually swap them for yellow ones so they can actually make it back to the onion in time. Or when we take them over there anyway. I think it's if there's more of one colour than the other, then they'll decide to take it over. So should probably swap these for yellows. Okay, there's no time. Where's everyone else? Are they safe? Oh, they're all up there. It's okay, they're gonna get there in time. Uh, have I got time? Okay, we're missing three. I guess there's three on the ground. I think we did okay. Where are the yellow ones going? Their onion isn't there. Have they got to run across the uh, the field to get back to their own onion? What about if they all died on the way back? There we go. Proper day one finished. I think we did okay, all things considered. I could have used the bombs a little bit better. Two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances, then I'd only have to press plus to locate my parts. Yeah, there seem to be so many hostile life forms here. If I'm attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it, press A to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. He's breaking so many fourth walls. Today's change in the Pikmin population, we've got 134. I love this old map screen as well, it's so nostalgic. So exciting seeing all the different places that you can go. Here we are again, day two in the Forest of Hope. And now the yellow Pikmin uh, onion has joined me over here. So it looks like we should get some yellow ones out and blow up that wall first of all. So let's take out all the yellow ones that we've got. We can actually make a few more, there we go. And I think these ones just stay yellow because this is just like an area to grow some more yellow Pikmin, so. Let's do that, and those ones haven't grown yet. And then let's go here and get them bombs. And then we can go back up to where the onions are and blow that wall up. And then we can go around the side and get that big uh, plus five for the red ones. What are those two yellow ones doing? Go on! Yay, well done. He got there eventually. There we go, we're making some more yellow ones already. And we can throw these ones up here. Ah, that was a bit risky. We don't even need that last one. I think he's just going to be carrying that around with him from now on. I love the music. I remember when the game came out and I was reading the first reviews for it. People were complaining about the music and saying that it sounds like an out-of-tune guitar. I don't think so. I think it's nice and relaxing. I really, really like the soundtrack of Pikmin 1. What do you guys think? Do you like the soundtrack? Or do you think it sounds like an out-of-tune guitar? Like, uh... I don't even know who said it. One of the uh, gaming magazines that I used to read. Ah, that's what he does. He stands back and throws it. Okay. Now he's mad. Ah! No! Oh my god, he ate loads!
Die! How dare you eat my Pikmin like that. Another intriguing discovery, a local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar. When the Pikmin drink this delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. This apparent Pikmin favourite seems to be full of nutrition. Closer observation is needed to determine the strengths and peculiarities of these flower Pikmin. Basically, flower Pikmin are just uh, faster, basically. So they can, uh, they can keep up with you easier. And we need some more bombs. Let's send all these guys to break this wall down, because anyone can do that. Oh yeah, yellow ones you can actually throw higher as well, so... Maybe we should actually put some of these red ones away. And when they've gone home... And we can bring out some yellow ones. Oh, there's none left anyway. Let's see whether we can actually throw them all the way up there from here. Yeah, you can. Although we need 20. You don't... Well, yeah, I guess for that bit you need 20 yellow ones because they're the only ones that can reach that high. So let's bring these over to finish breaking that wall down, then we can get the rest of the yellow ones and put them up there. Or I suppose, for now, come and help with the wall. There we go. So that evil giant bomb orb ate about 12, which is pretty annoying. Where's Otachi? Then I'd be able to jump up it. Jump up there. Come on, faster. Wasting time. I can't even help in this game. I just headbutt the air in front of it. Hey, there we go. Now, let's... See if we've got 20 yellow ones. Yay, there we go. We actually had 28. Oh, okay. Got some yellow seeds too. Oops. I didn't mean to press that, I meant to throw one at it. Okay, while we're waiting for them we can go and replenish the lost Pikmin stock. There we go. And there's some over there as well, why not? more yellow ones. And watch out for the water. Why didn't they pick it up? How lazy. Now we've got to just stand here and wait while we pick all these up again. He's not clever enough to go over to the other side. Uh, can't be bothered to wait for him, let's press on. You can see the difference with the ones that have flowers to the ones that don't. Okay. I should try and time it a bit better. Ah! Okay, go. It's better to throw them ones head on for the bull bobs because they can land on the head and crush them. Does it need? It needs 20 again. Oh, the red ones can reach. I thought it was higher than it was. There we go. We got the radar. 
while they're doing that, we can go and explore on the side. Looks like we'll be finding uh, blue ones soon too. Stop. Oh, it's difficult playing this on a regular controller because uh, on the Wii Remote you can circle around him and aim aim at his back at the same time. You don't have that luxury on a standard controller. Oh no! Okay. There's another part up here. Needs 30. I haven't quite got 30. I found the Nova Blaster. This emits a dazzling burst of light capable of destroying almost anything. I'm not exactly sure about this, but the promotional brochure claims that it has a blast that can travel in the currents of space-time, smashing through stars and into rifts of space. Okay, whatever that means. Yay, now we can see the map. Whimsical radar. This important part can detect the location of other missing parts and the radar will be added to my monitor which I can press plus to view. I can scan with L or zoom with R. This will surely help me in my search for the remaining parts. I have now recovered 3 out of 30. If I can find just 2 more I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Is that a shortcut for me through there? Yay. A slight shortcut. Okay. Leave them ones to bloom in the floor. Why not? Oh yeah, talking about bloom, has anyone in the chat played Pikmin Bloom? I downloaded it, but I never really played it. I only really have the attention span for one of those kind of games, and that's Pokemon Go. I don't really like opening too many different apps on my phone, it gets a bit overwhelming, so... I don't know, maybe if you guys recommend it, I might check it out in the future. I don't want to throw a bomb. There we go. Oh yeah, we've got the map now. Yay! Is there anywhere to use all these bombs? Oh, over here. As long as they don't get too far away. That should be... Oh, is this like an extra strong wall or something? We need even more bombs. Let's go get some more. There's a whole bunch here. Some of the Pikmin are a little bit slow, aren't they? Run away! Oh, there we go. We got the next part as well. Let's see what this does. Some sort of laser blaster. Nova Blaster. This is a weapon of such incredible destructive force that it can blast stars into tiny pieces. It has a stranger lore. I have now recovered 4 out of 30 parts. If I find just one more, I should be able to increase its capabilities. No, ah, get away! No! Why did they start headbutting the wall? Idiots. And uh, I may have become a little bit too reliant on the rewinding time feature in Pikmin 4 as well. There is no such luxury in this one. It's the Extraordinary Bolt. I bought this incredible bolt because the salesman told me it, it is of extraordinary quality that is indiscernible from the average person to the average person. Exactly what makes it so extraordinary is a secret, but just look at it. Extraordinary. I think he was just a good salesman, sorry. Okay, we'll be back in just a second. With 15 more. And they're still busy delivering stuff. Okay, that yellow one can come with me too. Huh. 
Harvest Moon 2 on the Game Boy Color, £46. Do you think that's worth it? Complete in box? I just had an offer come up on eBay. Oh, it's probably faster to just freeze them like that. Here we go. Why are you guys all giving up? Okay, what else is there? There's some seeds over there. And it actually leads up there. Should we go and pick them up while they're busy transporting? They still haven't flowered, really? I thought they would have by now. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting the Harvest Moon games for the Game Boy Color. Because I want to do a top Game Boy Color games video. And I've never actually played the Harvest Moon games, but they're something I've always wanted to play for a long time. So, if anyone uh, watching has played any of the Harvest Moon GB, or GBC, I guess it's called, games, then let me know if they're any good. There we go, we got the Extraordinary Bolt. Yay. This bolt's... This bolt's bolt holds the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. There we go, we've got five... The dolphin's capabilities have increased. Our search can continue over a wider area. Yay! That means we can go off to level two. But do we want to try and finish picking everything up in the first area first? We should probably do that. Yay, we have some flowers. Two flowers. And a few on the side too. There should be some more Pikmin coming. Yeah, there we go. Bring in random pellets over. Now we've got to try and plan our route. Uh, there is one over there, but... Is that wall actually passable? Can't see that far ahead. Not quite sure. Okay, come on. Let's go. Oh, they're picking the grass. Okay. See if there's any nectar in there. There is some. There we go. Drink up. I always thought that was weird. The, um animation of them eating the nectar. I didn't really understand what it used to do when I first played this. It's like, why are they all stopping and then sucking like... <laughs> but it just means that they're uh, growing into big strong Pikmin. Now they're all super fast, look. Yeah, yeah it means they can follow me a lot closer. Okay, let's see. Don't get stuck on the wall. That's one thing that's annoying about this game. The uh, AI isn't quite as good as in some of the later ones. Oh, can we not get any further this way anyway? No, we need to go in the water. But for that, we need blue Pikmin. I've got everyone with me, as long as they stay together. Maybe we can try and take a look on that side. Oh no, one of them fell over. I'll just wait here, they're all being clumsy. Day three complete. I think that was a pretty good day. And they've all grown flowers. Which is very helpful, and it means they can take things back to the onions faster as well. <laughs> I am kind of tempted with that offer. Complete in box Harvest Moon 2 for the Game Boy Color. Can you see it on there? I think it's worth it. £46. Anyway. Three days since impact. I've now added yellow Pikmin to the list of discoveries. These creatures can wield bomb rocks. 
so perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls and open up new regions. Red and yellow Pikmin, as well as bomb rock carriers, break into squads when dismissed with the X button. If I grab one for a moment, I can hold them, blah 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 blah, I know how to play. We lost 12 today in battle, but we didn't leave any behind. I'm kind of glad they didn't shoehorn in the um, rewind function. Okay. Well, we've got two different places to visit. Or is that the... Uh, that's the impact site. That's the beginning area. Let's go to the next proper level, which is called the Forest Naval. And hopefully this is where we find the blue Pikmin. It sure looks like it with all that water everywhere. But until then, let's take out 50 of each. Or 30. Let's do 30 yellow. And then 70. Or I guess. Make some room for some blue ones. Because we're, we're bound to find them at some point in this stage. While they're coming out. Let's see what we're working with here. There's a few out in the open. There's the blue onion right there. Maybe I should actually... I'm still trying to get used to these controls a little bit. That's going to be a spout to help me fly back up, I think, if I remember right. Do they come with me? No, it's just for me. Okay. We don't even need that. Everyone's already got flowers. We can uh, direct them over to this. I really miss being able to tell the Pikmin where to go. Not in, a, not in a bad way. That sounded bad. Tell the Pikmin where to go. There's way too many up there. I only need 15. Oh my god. They're going to be falling all over the place. Okay. We better leave the uh, yellow ones back here somewhere. Well, let's leave them all here first. I'll go and say hi to the blue onion. Gone mad trying. Hello. I'm glad you enjoy Pikmin. It is genuinely one of my favourite series. So I'm so, so happy to, to finally have 1 and 2 on the Switch. I'm really enjoying replaying it too at the minute. We should actually use these red ones to kill that fire thing over there. I found the automatic gear. This thing chugs along at its own pace. It makes piloting so much easier. It gives me time to concentrate on the finer points of space travel. Oh, these things are so annoying. Right, don't bother taking anything yet. Come on. Let's take this guy out. I suppose we can do that. No, only trying to set him on fire. Ow. I forgot I can't actually directly get involved in the fights in this one. And I can get set on fire, so I better not stay too close to him. There's loads of these. Okay, next. I suppose I can just set a bunch of them after each of them like this. As long as they don't all go into the water. Oh no. There is that annoying thing though. that can crush them. Get out of the way! I hate that stupid thing that um, jumps in the air like that stupid frog thing. It's so scary. Oh my god. Get out of the way! I think one of them died. Okay, okay, come back, come back! And he's trying to steal my pellets, damn it. Get off! Stop taking things, we're not done yet! Kill all these fire things so that the other Pikmin have a chance to bring stuff over. Oh, he's still alive. I actually thought he was dead. Okay. Guys, stop him! Why aren't they hurting him? Let's try it like this.
Can they not attack him? Okay, fine. Where are they going? Oh, they can't go that way because the bridge isn't open. Okay, I'll take some of them to start working on the bridge. Nearly dead. Nearly dead. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know how he took some, some damage. They're just trying to grab the pellet off him. Not actually hurt him. I'm probably wasting my time with this. Okay, come on, leave him. Where's everyone else? Is that a breakable wall up there? Oh, it's the type that needs bombs, no! And I can't deal with them on my own. Is that nearly done? One more. Let's see what's going on over here now. Where's all the other ones that I left lying around? Right, that bridge is finished. Hopefully nothing tries to kill them while I sort these blue ones out. <clears throat> Near this one's cheeks is what appears to be a set of gills. This trait suggests to me that blue type of Pikmin can enter the water without any trouble whatsoever. There's only one way to find out. I'll use A to hold one and press R to swap it and make it listen to my commands. Well... I don't need to press R because there aren't any other ones with me, because bringing the other ones in the water would be a bad idea. But, you guys can now come and take this. And whatever else is around. You don't all need to use it. There you go. Have some stuff. Okay. Close enough. Let's go and get some more blue ones while they're doing that. It's annoying there isn't another character to control at the same time. You can't sort of you can't sort of do multiple things at once in this version. So they're all just sat there now because I get, can't get back over to them. I suppose I can now if I run. Hey, Beta Marks here. I'm picking the stream for a few minutes. Haha, <laughs> very good. How are you doing this evening? Nectar! Mm. How many does it need? Seven. I don't think there's anything else that can hurt me now. I've actually already taken everything out. Just use this to replenish some of the lost Pikmin from earlier. I need one more. Hey! I'll steal one of you. One of you, come over here. No overtime! Yay, that's always good. I've actually got a few days off this week, which is quite exciting, although I'm kind of worried that I'm not going to use my time wisely enough. Because it's not very often that I actually get some free time. Anyway, automatic gear. It has thin cracks running through it. I tried to fill them with dirt. I hope it won't be alright. I've now recovered 6 out of 30 pieces. If I can find six more, then we'll be able to go to the next part of the planet. We should probably use the yellow ones soon to break down some of them walls. We need to find some bombs to break the walls open. Uh, keep the blue ones there. And let's see what's going on here. I thought that was an enemy then, but it's just them carrying it. So, no need to worry. Oh my god, they really have to go the long way around. I'm so sorry. I can cheat. I can go up here. Look at them all, waiting around. Doing nothing. Come on. Oh, actually, before I pick them up, 
you guys can all break this down. And you. Why are you following me? Did I throw him on the top? No, he fell. Now we can start picking these up. You have to remember to do multiple things at once in this game. I think that one with nine is trying to push the other one out of the way. I'll send these guys to break this. Or to build this bridge. There we go. I haven't seen any bombs. So I'm not sure... Where the bombs are to destroy those. Or those other walls. Oh, he went on the other side. That's where he went. Let's see what else is going on here. Just a load of empty... Empty fields. There's some bombs down there. It looks a bit dangerous, though. Okay, there is some more in reserve. Let's go make some more blue Pikmin. Oh, it only takes one for them as well. There we go. Give them something to do. And I'll go and get some yellow ones and try and... Uh, bring them down there somehow. Not too many though, so let's uh, just take a small handful. Huh? Have we found something? Okay, everyone come over here. Does the rest of them not want to help? Some of you only have leaves. There you go. Eight up. No, let's separate them all out again, because I still just want a small handful of yellow ones. No, go away. That's it. I found my number one Ionium jet. Ionium. Unfortunately, this puts out a slightly odoriferous exhaust, but it does propel me to escape velocity in an instant. The stench is a small price to pay for such performance. Oh no, come back. I'm sorry. Can they carry bombs up there? Or will I have to do some sort of bomb gymnastics? Oh, they were going to go for it anyway. I suppose I'll have to throw him there. Are you going to stay there? Okay, good. Now, wait there for me. Oh man, there's so many shortcuts in this level that you have to open up. And I could get all these guys to work while I'm busy. Let's send some of them down there. And send all these guys over here. Just do random stuff. Make yourselves busy. And... That wasn't exactly what I planned, but it kind of worked. Okay. Now let's blow this wall up. Or that one. How many bombs have we got? Will it take three? It's going to take all of them. Ah, come back, come back, come back! Oh no. We lost one. One more. It used up all of them. Damn. It means we don't have any left to, to blow that one up. Just yet.
Do I need to make sure the blue ones are safe? Or I guess they're okay. Let's help these guys out. There's a whole bunch of ones over there that are stranded on their own. I'd better go and wake them up. And we've got to find a whole bunch more bombs somewhere. Do we have time? Can we make that? Faster, faster, faster! Stop picking the grass. I think we're okay. As long as they buy the onions, they're safe. Let's give them a little bit of food before bed. I think we're okay. And we can't even open the map. I was going to try and study it a bit before it finished. <clears throat> what day is this? Day four? Day five? Day four. Deep in the cave, I discovered the forest. I encountered blue Pikmin. These these blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be am amphibious, surviving both in water and on land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien land. Yay, now we have a few blue ones in our army. So, let's carry on here, and then we can go back to the first area and use the blue ones to get to some of the places that we couldn't get to before. I need to find more bombs though, that's definitely the uh, main thing to do for now, so let's get some yellow ones out. Let's go, 30 yellow. Let's see how many blues we have. Let's get all of them out, and then whatever's left, we'll get out as red. Oh, there's one there. That's why the numbers weren't adding up. Let's get out 42 red ones. I kind of miss deciding on what Pikmin you want and how many, because in the latest game, you can basically just press a button and it automatically... Oh, I can activate that. Right, some of you can get busy hitting that. Yeah, in the latest one, it does it all automatically. You just need to press X and it kind of says, hey, you need this many of this color, and you need this many of this color. It kind of takes all the thinking out of it. That was quick. Oh, these reset then every day. Have we got a bridge all the way down? Nice. Okay, get some more nectar before we start our adventures. Let's get the rest of these blue ones fed. Okay, I guess that's good enough. Uh, let's throw some yellow ones up here. They can probably make that bridge. Uh, okay, we can just throw everyone up there. Sure, carry on, make the bridge faster. Ah, how did he get stuck underneath? I think he's trapped. Come out! There we go, freedom. So, some of them can take this. I found my gravity jumper. By manipulating the forces of gravity, this key component gives me the final boost I need to make the jump into super light speed. Good thing I found it.
Why are you getting confused? Because you're on the wrong side of the bridge. Oh no! Uh, what are they doing there? Get back! You're gonna die! No! Get out! Get out! Oh my god. Oh yeah, this guy. I don't think there's anything you can do about him, really. Well, I managed to save one of them. Stupid Pikmin going in the water. I didn't even know they were on that side. Are they heading back okay? Yeah, they're fine. One more. Come on. Now we can get some yellow ones. Sometimes they have to think about it for a little bit. Okay, we've got four bombs. Are they all out? Okay, let's go. Where's the nearest wall to blow up? There's another piece. Hooray! Gravity Jumper. This anti-gravity device allows the dolphin to swim gracefully through the sea of stars, like a dolphin. I've now recovered 7 out of 30 parts. If I can find just 5 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Shall we get them to blow this wall up? As it's the closest one. Where are they going? Oh no. I didn't know that they would jump on that side. Get out of the way. Stupid. And there wasn't any, even enough bombs to completely destroy the wall. Great. Uh, okay, change of plans. Maybe we should head down there and try and get that. <coughs> Excuse me. What is down here, anyway? Oh, he's got something, has he? That's why he's so annoying to kill. The only way you can kill him is to land on his head. Oh! Get out of the water! Get out of the water! Get out of the water! I don't even know if that was water, but I got a bit scared. No, it wasn't. Okay, he's coming back. Yay, what did we get? A life ring. I keep pressing left on the D-pad to try and call him back over. That doesn't work in this game. Thank goodness, my space float. This float is an absolute necessity for any pilot who lacks skill at swimming in space. I love the absurdity of Olimar's remarks about everything. This is one of those really annoying frog things. Which way are they going? They seem a bit confused. And they won't accept any more help either. Anything else we can do? We can get some blue ones and head over there. Uh, I'm sorry, I tried to make a, a shortcut. So, where's the rest? Are they still coming up? I might deposit some of these and take out some more blues. And we can try and get that with the pace. Oh, there was only two more to get. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, 
An excellent swimmer like me has no need for something like this, but my motto is always be prepared. Really, it's just for emergencies. I've never recovered 8 out of 30. I know, well done. Most of you can stay here though, because I'm only taking blue ones with me. You can come with me. And these guys. And then we just need to go all the way around there. Hopefully 30 is enough. We can get a few more. 33. Got a straggler. Oh, there's some more bombs there as well. Okay. That only needed 15. Oh, these are the same bombs that we found last time, I guess. There's so much to do in this level. There's all that bit around the side where the red ones need to go to deactivate all the fire as well. It's kind of overwhelming. And the shortcuts all reset too. So while they're doing that, let's go and grab some reds. Or, actually, should we get some yellows? To go and get some more bombs. Make my way back round very slowly because I still didn't open up that that shortcut. <clears throat> there we go, one more piece. If this is damaged, I'll be in dire straits. I'll have to run a system check as soon as I can. I've now recovered nine out of thirty. Finally, we can break down one of these walls. Ooh, that was a bit risky. Didn't need to use that other one. Oh well, we can use it here and make this way a bit faster to get back to. If one more bomb will be enough. Yay, we did it. We're making a little bit of progress. Give them blue ones something to eat as well. Right, now what do we need to do? What is next on the list? Uh, take the reds around the side, I guess. So we need red. Ah, uh, no yellow. We need red. Why is there no easy way of separating them? And blue. That should do. I think. Now how do I get around the side? All the way down there. Come on. One of them didn't eat their breakfast. Oh no. Okay. Back over here. And we're taking just the red ones with us. And you three. Okay, ready. Attack! Can I attack? I think I can, slightly. I don't think you get power-ups in this one though, like you do with Pikmin 4. Anyway, now he's dead. 
Let's push everyone against the wall. We can go and get all blue ones too. Maybe I should have brought more if I knew I'd have to destroy something like that. Oh well. While they're doing that, is there anything these guys can do? There is another two stars over there. Let's see if we can make a start on any of that. Let's go and see where it is, first of all. There's a scary mushroom thing there. And it looks like we need some bombs and another wall to break down as well. Okay. We'll come back there tomorrow. Let's try and get this bit done today. Oh, they've still got loads to do. Okay. We'll make a start. We'll break the first part of the wall down. Come on. I'll grab some more reds too. As we're a little bit thin. Uh, there's always some dead end. It's not as bad as it was at least. Okay. Got to take these annoying bugs out. I don't think you can even direct them into these enemies like uh, like normal ones. So the best thing to do is just keep throwing them around like this. Probably lose a few, but they'll get replenished. Oh no. Come on, at least break these two walls down. I better go and check on the other ones. I'm a bit scared now. Come on, come on, faster! I'll help him. I was trying to do too much, I think. Come on, come on, come on, we need to go! Ah, uh, okay. Finish that tomorrow. Oh my god, that was actually scary. Are the rest of them back? I think they're all safe. Yeah. There's just that one stuck on the bridge. It's okay. Just stay here. You're safe. There we go. Now, let's finish the day. That was very, very tense at the end there. Well, there we go. Do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do. I don't think we lost any. No, that frog wishes we'd left some behind. Five days since impact. Oh, horrors! A bomb rocket explosion engulfed my Pikmin. That last horrified facial expression is burned into my memory. I must review my procedures for handling Pikmin with bomb rocks so that I do not repeat this mistake. When I press A to throw Pikmin who are carrying bomb rocks, they will toss their bomb rocks at nearby obstacles or walls. I know, I know. It was my mistake. You don't need to tell me how to play. Let's go back in. We know what we're doing now. Let's go and put out all the fires on the side first. And then we can go and tackle that weird creepy mushroom thing on the other side. So we don't really need any... We don't need many yellows, anyway. <clears throat> I think I still need to make some more blue ones. 
Let's get some yellow so that they can get the bombs. There we go, that seems like a good mix. So for now, for now let's just take the red and blue ones. It's really, really annoying. I wish you could, um, you could have multiple characters in this one because I really want to set them ye yellow ones to work while I'm moving these ones around. Okay, he can go back home on his own. These guys can finish breaking this down. I suppose I won't be here long enough to set the yellow ones to do anything. Yay, well done guys. Now let's just take the reds. Oh, you can't actually break them down. Okay. Let's take everyone just stay against the wall. I don't think that's where I actually wanted all of them to go. So we can get rid of all the red ones, but the blue ones I actually wanted to come over here. I probably need a few more though. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Come back! I'm sorry. No! Idiot! Why did you go in the fire twice? No, how many do I need for this? Probably more than 14. I've found my analog computer. This computer conveys the kind of vague data that falls outside the range of ones and zeros. Actually, to be honest, it's a little too vague. So it isn't very helpful. It needed 20. And I got 14. Let's come back with a few more then. Should be enough. Now make sure they stay on the side. Even the little leaf one. There we go. Okay, then the idea is to get them out here and turn them into red ones. Cool. You can flip him upside down if you manage to throw them on his head. Anyway. There we go. Now once they're all red, that means that you can just carry that. No problem. Oh, one of them got to eat something. Oh, three did. There we go. They should be safe to make their way back across this area now. And we can go and see what these ones found on the other side of the bridge. What did you find? If I stand on it, I'll get shot up here. Oh, okay. We need yellow ones. I think. Let's see. Oh, no, they they also reach up there. I underestimate the uh, height of the Pikmin. Or do I? Uh, I knew it. Come on, get out. Brrr. I need yellow ones. Okay. 
that's fine. Let's go get some yellows. Keep these guys against the wall. I don't know why they just hold back after they've been let go like that. That's a bit annoying. There we go. While they're bringing this back, we can go and check out the uh, the thing that the yellow ones needed on the other side of that bridge. Is that everything over there then? Yeah, that's that whole corner done then. Excellent. And there's one stray red one. All on his own. And they're slowly taking that back over. I could have been a bit better with... Um, Making the route a bit faster by blowing the walls up, but never mind. They're coming, they're coming. That's probably more than enough. Ah! Cut me off just as I was about to throw them. <clears throat> Analog computer. This strengthens the outward emotions of the dolphin's computer. While it does make the computer smart, it also makes it quick to anger, just like my boss. I've now recovered 10 out of 13. I think I threw a bit more than 15 up there. I found my Libra. My daughter gave me this to me and named it after her astrological sign. My sweet little girl. I wonder what she's doing at, right at this moment. Don't go in the water. Thank you. And don't go in the fire as well. Do I have to worry about them going in the fire? Do we need to go and swap them for red ones? I think so. Okay, okay, you guys stop there. We'll come back for that. I should have brought some red ones with me. Never mind, let's see if we can find any uh, bomb rocks. There must be some easier to get to than that. Oh my god, the leaf ones are so much slower in this game, compared to all the others. I should have left them behind, honestly. I don't even need this many. There we go. I'll use all the help I can get. Let's see what we can do with the other ones in the meantime. There is one up there in the corner. We can have a look at that. Let's go and grab some more and go and have a look. Come on, slow coaches. It's actually straight over there. Is there a wall in the way, though? There is a wall in the way. We need to blow it up. Well, there's no more bombs anywhere. We can finish breaking this down. I forgot I hadn't finished that. You're enjoying the stream of consciousness that the game is bringing out in the dialogue. Yeah, literally just sharing my thoughts as I'm playing. And... Uh, 
my frustrations at not doing things in the right order or missing out on things. I could get some blue ones. I really need to find more bombs to blow that up. What did we get? My daughter gave this to me. My late return must have must have her very worried. Then we have 11 out of 13. Uh, I'm going to trade in trade in some of the reds and swap them for blue ones, I think. Let's send all of you home. Oh my god, I missed both of them! No! Okay, well, anyway. Better than nothing. Like Mighty Number Nine. It's better than nothing. Need to stock up on blues. Again, we're gonna miss it. Is there any, uh... Oh yeah, there is. Cool. Where are they going? Why are they taking such a long way around? Where's everyone else? They were destroying the bridge, weren't they? They're all over there. We need more bombs. We can't get anywhere without bombs. I don't know where to get them from. Okay, there's some here. Right, yellows. Can we get them? Oh, why are they all going underneath the bridge? Okay, stay on the bridge. Good. Some of them can have some food. So they don't get left behind. Uh, and I forgot which way I came from. That's as far as that, far out as it goes. That way? Yeah, that way. Let's do it one at a time just to be safe. I seem to be in a habit of blowing up the yellow ones in this playthrough. Why doesn't it just take three? We need more bombs. Where else can I get some from? I've exhausted that area now. Or maybe that's it. I want to try and get at least one more piece. Let's go and get the blue ones. See what's on the other side of the lake. And we can come back and finish that bit tomorrow. Look at all them blue ones waiting for me. Oh, maybe I won't have enough time to go over there. Oh well, as long as I pick up something every day, then that's okay. Because I do get really worried playing Pikmin 1 that I'm going to run out of time. What is that over there? <gasps> no, there's a red one. There's still two more somewhere else as well. Okay, well, we're waiting for the day to end. Get some nectar for these guys. Come on. I think we might have lost one today. One red one. Oh, 
Oh, he didn't get one. Two seconds. It's weird only seeing a small amount of them. I'm sorry, I'll do that every time. The Pikmin that I did not bring back to the Onion all vanished overnight. It may be that they have fallen prey to the planet's nocturnal creatures. An ugly thought. Perhaps that is why they followed me into the atmosphere. I'm starting to grasp the cycles of life on this planet. We lost one. Okay. Never mind. Now we've got some more blue ones. We can go back to the first area and pick up the, uh, the bits we missed. And then we can head back over there. Let's go for a bit of a change of scenery. And I'll just bring out some blues at the minute and we can go through that patch of water right there. And the rest of them can start... Uh, ...populating like this. Leave them guys to uh, sort themselves out. And we can explore over here, if you guys come on the right side of that branch. Oh, no need for that. Leave it. You don't need it. We found another spring, a shock, shock absorber. This apparatus counteracts the shaking and swaying that normally occurs during flights. It's smooth sailing with this in place. Usually. Ah, stop trying to circle me! No, go away! Ah, uh, I hate this enemy. You guys don't need it. Leave it alone. I should have 30. Where's the rest of them? Oh, they're all busy. Okay, fine. We'll come back. <gasps> they're breaking the bridge! I suppose I don't really need to fix this bridge, but... Oh, I do, actually, because there's another bit. There's another bit further over. There's a bit over there, too. Do we get some red ones out to fight them? Let's see where the other pieces are, anyway. Uh... There's one over there. What do I need to get through there? Oh, nothing. I just haven't been on that side yet. Whoa, that's a lot of seeds. Let's get some yellow ones out to use the bombs. And then we can use the rest, whatever's left to fight. That should be a good, a good mix. And some of them are already finding stuff to eat. Oh, 
Okay, we fixed the bridge. So, let's try and split our time a bit here. Don't really care who gets that sort of stuff. Um, let's... Sure, let's bring... Uh, what do we need? We need blues. We need more blues. We actually need the blues to go across the water. Fight all these annoying tadpole things on the way. Okay. Some of you can take stuff back, but the rest of you need to come and make this bridge. Let's see how many we need. Can you reach far enough? We need 20. Come on, you can do that after. Get back. Okay, while they're doing that. Let's take the yellows and the reds and make them go fight him. Well, some of them can have them. If you do it fast enough, they don't have time to try and eat. And if you throw them on the back, I think they do take more damage, slightly. Come on. Yes, we did it. Now, give the yellow ones some bombs. And we can carry on up here, which is... Uh, Huh, that works. Two bombs. Now I know how to use them properly, anyway. Oh, here's a regular one. Whoops. Nicely done. Oh, how did he die? Uh, are we trapped on the wrong side of this box? Okay, well, we can bring some of these back anyway. Looks like I need to get some... Get back! Oh dear, that didn't look good. Oh, that one's still alive. Oh, no. I thought I'd killed them all. Whoops. I just blew a whole load up, I think. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Just grab that big one. Good. I can't believe what just happened then. That went quite badly. How are they getting on? Oh, they're finished. Awesome. Don't know why I've got some yellow ones following me. this to get some more blue ones because it seems like I don't actually have that many blue ones uh, why did you go on that side
how are these numbers changing? Oh well. I found my Sagittarius. My son gave it to me as a present. It brings to mind visions of my son back home on planet Hockertite. Oh, to be back there right now. Poor Olimar. He'll be back there soon. I think I'm making good progress. Not optimal, but I'm doing okay, I think. Diddle diddle dun 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 dun. This was a gift from my son. He must be very worried about me. I've recovered 12 out of 30. Is that enough to go to the next area? I think so. Yay! Let's see, where are we supposed to be trying to go next? Did I not get that one? Was there something I was supposed to do over there that I forgot about? Uh, I don't want any yellow ones with me. Why did I not get that? Oh, was I just busy fighting stuff? Or maybe I went back to get more? What are they doing over there? Grab on! Uh, there we go. And then, is that that side complete? Yes, then we got one right in that corner. And we got one right in that corner. Oh, that's why I didn't get far enough over there, because I sent everyone back with all them dead bulb orbs. There's another piece. Shock Absorber. This nifty little device counteracts the shaking and swaying experienced in typical space flight. I've now recovered 13 out of 30. Just 16 more to go. We are making really good progress. I remember the chaos that happened around here. And, oh, that's what I needed. I needed blue ones to get around the back. Okay. So that bit's out of the question for now. Uh, there is one. Uh, miles up there. Let's go around the back and see. Oh, no. Let's not. Or we could take him out. We just need two of these bomb ones. That should kill him. And then we just need to throw some on top of these little ones here. Ah, uh, these little things are annoying though. They keep going back underground. Oh no, they're actually killing my Pikmin. Okay, I need to come back here when I've got more, I think. Is anyone left? I've got three. So, we need more blue ones up here as well, in order to do that bit. There's a whole bunch of blue ones right here. The annoying thing is all of these ones that I killed just now, they'll all they'll all come back straight away anyway. Why have I got a yellow one with me? 
I'll just leave him there. Time it. Yay, timed it right for once. Oh, I've missed a lot of comments. Uh, I'm enjoying... My dad texted me saying his plane was delayed by Air Force One. I'm wondering if YouTubers need a union. Pikmin definitely need a union. Okay. It is nearly sunset. Hopefully I haven't left any around. There's a whole bunch of blue ones over there doing nothing. I'll go and rescue them quick. What are they all doing there? Did they get stuck? And there's a bunch at the top too. Oh no. Maybe these ones can come and help. Yay, they did it. Just in time too. Let's go and see what's up here. Okay. You can get like two hits in before we run out of time. Three. I'm going to call them back at the last second. Two. One. Okay, okay. That's enough. Oh no, I hate that fight that's waiting on the other side of the fence too. It's scary. Oh no, you you would love a mod where it gives all the Pikmin names and at the end it shows the names of the dead Pikmin. Oh my god. That would be so sad. Don't grow attached to any Pikmin. You can lose them at a moment's notice. And I am guaranteed to when we get on the other side of that, of that gate up there. Seven days since impact, I've managed to increase the range of the Dolphin. Looking from the dolphin's portal as it launches ever higher into the sky, I see a vast wetland in the deepest parts of the forest. I shall call it the Distant Spring. I can begin my exploration of it tomorrow. For now, I must sleep. Well, we have three options now. We can go to the Distant Spring. We can carry on in the Forest of Hope. Or we can finish off the last three in the Forest Naval as well. And I actually think there's one more back in the starting area too. We should probably leave that till last. Uh, let's jump back into the Forest of Hope and finish these ones up. There's only two more to go. We can finish them. What do we need? Mostly blue? I suppose all blue for that top one. Let's just go all out. 100 blue Pikmin. Come on. Some of them need some food. Let's see if there's anything in that grass. There's something. Eat up, you'll need it. I think that's all of them. Is it? There's one straggler. There we go. Now it's everyone. Can we ignore him? Can you get through that gap? Yay. Alright, it shouldn't take too long to take this fence down with all of them attacking it at once. I do not remember how to fight this, by the way, so I am a little bit worried. I'm trying to help. Why is it still taking so long? There's a hundred fighting this fence. It should be a lot faster than that. Come on. There's nothing else for me to do while we wait, either. 
Oh, I wonder if I could get some yellow ones to pick up the bombs and throw them up here and then carry on fighting it on the other side. Let's try it with the blue ones. I'm a bit worried though because I have no idea how to fight this guy. Well, I probably do. I'll probably remember, but... Uh, Okay, get out of the way, get out of the way! Is this the one that the uh, the back opens up on? Yeah. Oh my god, it's difficult with no lock on. Oh my god, is he just going to stay open? No way, I killed him in one. That was way easier than the Pikmin 4 version. Oh my god. At last, my radiation canopy. This turns the harsh, ra harsh radiation of deep space into soft infrared rays that are easy on the body. I'll sleep like a baby once I get this back on the ship. I can't believe how easy that fight was. I guess it is the first proper boss fight in the game. I was really worried too. I didn't need to be. Is that everything up here? I guess so. Alright, I'm uh, very relieved honestly. Hey, you don't need that. There's a whole bunch of uh, angry ball bobs after me, though. Don't eat them! Please! Okay. Everyone grab something. This should be enough. Still. I lost more facing that than the boss. That's ridiculous. Okay. We'll come back for you in a minute. Then everyone decided to pick that up instead. And that is going to make a lot of blue Pikmin. Have a look at the number on the bottom right. Whoa! That made like a hundred. I don't know whether blue was the right choice. But there we go. And let's figure out where we want to go next. So that is that side done. And that side. There's only one left. And we need to go all the way to the other side of the map. Not sure what we need. Maybe red, if it's going to be another boss fight. Maybe yellow, if we want to pick some bombs up. There we go, we got the uh, infrared like a baby device. The special window. Radiation canopy. I'll have to inspect it later to make sure it isn't cracked. I'll be even I'll be in for even more trouble if I have any radiation leaks. Fourteen out of thirteen. Let's put some of these away then. I'll put most of them away, actually. We'll get more reds out, I think. Let's wait for all them to pop back into their onion. Blah, 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 blah. Let's take out... 60, maybe? And then 10 yellow ones. There we go, and 10 yellows. I think this game's held up incredibly well, considering it's like, I don't know, 20, 23 years old. It's crazy. I was basically just killing him so that we can bring the stuff back safe. Ah, that's why we needed to come here. Well, have I got ten blue ones? I've got more than ten. That's enough. We need to get some blue ones on the other side to push this box over. And then we get to face 
a very fun boss, which is the giant bird thing. There we go. Keep pushing. I'll set everyone to work on it. Are you ready for a very scary boss fight? How far do you want to take it? That'll do. Okay, everyone. Okay, go! Line up carefully. Okay, we can let a blue one go fast. That blue one's stuck on the other side. Oh no, there's two! I didn't remember there being two. I don't know what the best way of fighting this is either. Just keep them away from his face, I guess. Trying to throw them on his head. That seems like a better way of doing it. Easier said than done, though. Come on, get up. We're going to be constantly mess missing one blue one. Ow! Ah! Leave him alone. Try and throw them on his head. Oh my god. Good job the Pikmin don't have names. Bite me instead. Nearly dead. I've lost quite a few. I suppose I should be trying to manoeuvre around them, but whatever. Okay, take your picks. I'm just going to line them all up. Do we get something as well? Or just random pellets? Apparently there is something. Oh no, there's a third one. Okay. There's no sort of super spicy food that you can feed the Pikmin this time either to make them stronger, so... Just have to brute force it. Maybe I shouldn't be standing directly underneath his face. Yay, there we go. Now let's just freeze them all in place and... See what pops out of his body. Not just pellets. There we go, there is something. A Geiger counter. Every spaceship needs one of these, but I actually don't know what it's for. Every once in a while it goes wild and lets out a lot of noise, but I never pay much attention to it. So it doesn't do me much good. Maybe I should read that manual. Oh dear. As a kid I didn't understand that. But <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh dear. You can hear it as well. Oh dear. That's a little worrying. I haven't paid any attention to the colours that they're picking up. Where's he going? Oh, are they going to jump in the water? There's still a random blue one down there. He's still stuck. What is wrong with this guy? You can have this yellow one because you're dumb. Now they're going to get attacked by tadpoles. Where are they going? Why are they going over there? They need to go that way. It's a good job I killed that giant ball bulb first. Look at them all, all over the map. That is the last part. We are officially done with this level. Once they drop that back off. And... Well, we can just wait here. And actually, I'm going to pop to the toilet, so I'm actually just going to leave it on this screen and let them drop their stuff off.
I'm back. You sang the song for me. Thank you. Uh, the noisy gauge is always letting off a spontaneous click and buzz. It can be kind of annoying. I've now recovered 15 out of 30. We are halfway done. I forgot it would come up with that text. I was hoping all these guys would be done by the time I got back. Oh, some of them are starting to sprout. That's good. A lot of random assortments of colours because a load of them died. Not to the boss. But just to random, random enemies. Uh, what else? We haven't got anything left to do here, so I guess we'll just go on a bit of a... Roundup spray. Let's pick up some random pellets, guys. There you go. Should we go and kill these guys? And uh, put their corpses inside of an onion, as you do. I don't even bother with the right colours anymore. There's one random blue one all on his own there. There's more stuff over here. I forgot about this stuff. Oh no. Go kill random things all over the floor. I definitely miss some of the quality of life improvements from Pikmin 4. Especially um, the ability to call everyone back in one go. I'm missing that. I don't think we've got time to get anything else. Let's just take all these guys back as fast as possible. Is he even going to make it? Maybe not. Did everyone else get back? Let's just check the map just in case. I... It's okay, I haven't left anyone behind. Come on, you got seven seconds. Have some more help. Apparently 20 is the most they can use. Come on! I'll help push. We're not going to make it. Two seconds. One. Okay. Come back. Almost. Very close. Look at that blue one running away with his eyes wide open. My dog was looking at me down there, all confused. I don't think you can see him past the microphone, but he is there. Almost asleep on the floor. I think I just woke him up. Eight days since impact. There, there's only 15 parts that I still need to retrieve. Will I be able to recover the remaining parts in 22 more days? Surely there are some parts that are not absolutely necessary. If my ship is not complete by day 30, the only way I will find out is to try and lift off. I just recalled the day I took my son for a ride on this spaceship. He was so happy. I shall tell him of this journey when I return. And I shall return! I must! I can already see the look of wonder on his precious face as I describe my adventures with the Pikmin. Very optimistic, Captain Olimar. Looks like we need to get some more yellow Pikmin. We've only got 99. Let's go and finish off this area before we move on to the next one. I think we need more blue ones. Trying to scan the area. While the camera's out. I know there's the giant mushroom thing to fight down at the beach. 
Everything's over that side. Uh, that's right. We need to get more bombs. Let's uh, see how far we can get with a bunch of yellow ones. How many is down there? Five? Maybe six. Where else can you get bombs from? Some of them can do that. There's another bunch there. Is that really the only place to get them from? And there's not even anything for them to eat. Rubbish. Oh! Shoot. I should have... Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter. Uh, can I reach them from here? Damn it. Making my life harder. Why is this the only way to get the bombs? Happier. Hopefully, this is all we need now. Oh no, it's reset. Or did we just not do anything on this wall before? Need more bombs. There must be another place to get some. That did nothing. And the wall down here still needs more. You've only ever played Pikmin 3. I love Pikmin 3, it's probably my favourite one. But I haven't played it in a long time. And I haven't played the Switch one. So I do wonder if they uh, improved anything from the original. So I loved Pikmin 3 when it came out on the Wii U. In fact, in my... Uh, oh no. In my top 15 Wii U games video many, many years ago, I actually put Pikmin 3 as my number one game for the Wii U. So I would love to revisit that at some point. I'm not really sure what the point of that shortcut is, because you can just go straight there anyway. Right, while they're all delivering stuff, let's get out some red ones and destroy all of them fire-breathing things. Look at them all go! So many fractions everywhere. Okay, you guys come with me. Go and take out all these threats to the yellow Pikmin. Go, go, go! Oh, stupid frogs there again. I forgot about the frog. Let's just kill these ones first. What are we actually meant to be doing? We're supposed to be going all the way to the back of that lake. And we're also supposed to be getting a bunch of bombs. But the only place to get the bombs has a very limited supply. And this damn frog wants to kill everyone. Okay, it's nearly dead. Okay, at least the frog's not an issue anymore. Ooh, 
We need to clear this path out so that we can bring the blue ones down there. I'll leave them to carry on. Carry on fighting. Need to find more bombs for these yellow ones, but I don't know where to look. In the meantime, let's uh, let's give the yellow ones some more petals because they uh, were running a bit low from what I remember last time. Are there any, is there anywhere else you can get the bombs from apart from in that tunnel down there? I'm not even sure if there is. Let's just get some more red ones down the bottom to clear that area out. And I guess we don't need all these yellow ones. Send them all back home. And we can swap them for reds. Oh, once they've gone back home. Can't do anything just yet. Hopefully go in faster than the new seeds can be made, else you have to wait to pick them out the floor. That'll do. Let's go and take on some more of them. They're coming up here. Get back down there. All right, let's charge into them. Really? It just went straight past? Okay, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. And let's hope he doesn't throw these ones in the sea. Yeah, it's fine. What's he doing on his own? Here you go. You can take that. That's everything from the beach. Let's go and swap some of these for blue ones. Where are they going? They're taking the long way around for no good reason. Let's send all these home. They were so far behind. Oh my god. Alright. Now we can bring out the blues. 65 blue ones. And leave the rest in the ground because they won't begin to flower eventually. And then if we just... Uh, let's go that way because I want to try and get the one in the lake. I want to get something this round at least. Else that was a waste of a day. God, I have to watch out for two frogs. Okay, I don't think there was any chance of calling them back. Get away! Oh my god, why do they just stay underneath them? They're so stupid. Oh, is that what I need to pick up? The antidioxin filter. Fits over the rocket's exhaust ports and filters out all the disease-causing agents from the ship's exhaust. That means I'll be able to move around without polluting the planet's atmosphere. I'll feel worlds better. And it needs 40. Oh no. We might need to come back. We've only got 18 here. The rest of them are all on their return missions. I'll have to go and go and stop them. I suppose we'll have time to go there and back. Um, have I been well lately? Yeah, I've been good. I've been away in Edinburgh for a uh, anime or Comic Con convention. Help for my girlfriend sell all her, all her artwork and stickers and charms and stuff like that. 
So that was a fun weekend, and I've got a few days off work too, so I'm happy. And I got Pikmin 1 and 2! I actually picked it up from game in Glasgow when we were when we were there over the weekend. I think I said Edinburgh a minute ago, I meant Glasgow. But yeah, it's been very busy, and we went on the train as well, and we had to take four suitcases of extremely heavy prints and um, key rings and charms and all sorts of things, so... It was a bit of a stressful journey, but we made it, and we got back yesterday evening. So it's pretty fun, and then we got to do it all over again for MCM in London in October. And then there's a few more shows coming up before the end of the year as well. Telford in November and Birmingham in December I think so got a show every month for the rest of this year and I'm also going to EGX in a few weeks time as well I've got a creator pass for it which will be fun so if anyone's going to EGX in London in a few weeks time I may as well let these guys carry something on the way, as long as I've got thir uh, 40. Yeah, if anyone's going to EGX in a few weeks, feel free to say hi if you, say, if you see me there. I probably won't do a video of the event, because my video that I did of um, Insomnia did very badly. Like, I couldn't believe how, how badly it went. I really don't think people care about watching event videos. Or vlogs, which is quite sad because I put a lot of time into editing that and it literally got 500 views. I shouldn't complain though because it's still, it's still cool that 500 people care to watch a random video that I made. Because I know people only really like top games lists or homebrew games, so I can't complain. I need to do some get some videos for myself as well. Yeah, it went really well. And the one in London always does super well too, so we're looking forward to that. How have you been? Have you been up to anything interesting lately? Got any projects or any plans for anything cool or exciting? Going to any events this year? I also started properly writing my book. I don't know whether I'd, I've mentioned that before. But I've been writing a game in history book and I'm about 7,000 words in. Which is pretty good going so far. I'm quite excited for it. But it's a long term project so don't expect it anytime soon. Antidioxin filter. The laws of deep space require all ships to eliminate all pollutants. I've recovered 16 out of 30 ship parts. Was that the last thing here? No, there's two more. One of them we need the bombs for. And the other one is just really far away. Do we have time to go and have a look? I guess so. With a whole bunch of blues and nothing else. Let's hope it's not surrounded by fire. Alright, I think I've got enough. Let's go and explore directly down. Uh, but I don't want to go near the fire. Ah! Oh my god, get away from that damn frog! Uh, I'm not here to fight the frog. So, I actually need to... Oh, that is the, the mushroom fight, okay. I'm saving that. 
Uh, maybe I'll just stay here. I think it's safe here. In the corner. Let's see what's on the other side of the mushroom pit. Nothing. A bit of fire and a giant mushroom to fight. So we have two options. We can try and find the rest of the bombs to blow up the wall. Slowly working on music stuff. That's still exciting. What sort of music are you working on? I just realised I was a bit out of frame. There we go. Nine days since impact. I have seen that at times the leaf atop a Pikmin's head will grow into a bud and then a flower. It appears that if you do not pick up the Pikmin sprouts, they gradually bloom over time. Fascinating! This melding of plant and animal traits is surely unique in the natural world. I have found flower Pikmin to possess increased swiftness when in a rush. Pressing and holding down A and then calling the flower Pikmin forth with X can be quite effective strategy. I've also learnt that new sprout Sprouts found growing on the following fierce battles are a result of the seeds being left behind. Pressing and holding A and calling the flower pikmin forth with X. I didn't actually know you could do that. I need to make more yellow ones. Look how bad that yellow graph is. Uh, like YouTube for you, music is a passion that does not pay the rent. I'm always trying to scrape out time for it, but sometimes you have to make time for other hobbies and chores and stuff to be well-rounded. Yes. The struggles of being a well-rounded adult. I know them all too well. Although maybe I'm a little bit too forceful making sure that nothing gets in the way of making at least one video a week. I feel like that's my main thing. As long as I can have that ready for Friday, I'm happy. With whatever. Whatever happens. But yeah, I know the struggle. I think I brought too many with me. There is one more. Hopefully that's enough. I'm so, so bored of trying to blow this wall up. Alright, let's go. Let's go blow up a wall. Again, 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 again. I really hope it hasn't come back. We still need more, I think. Maybe I can ignore that, actually, and go around this way. Because, really, the only bit you actually need to blow up is this bit. Oh, that's it. Okay, awesome. We've got four left. I don't think it's... Oh, God! Oh, I almost killed him. Not quite. I don't think it's enough. It actually is! Yes! We've made it! Finally. Now we can go and, uh, what do we even need in there? Swap it for red ones, I guess, if we're going to be starting a fight. Shall we just pull out all red Pikmin? There we go. 99? Did one of them not go away? No. There must be a stray one. I'm not sure what that green dot is there. There's a green dot over there that keeps flashing. Uh, 
Uh, I probably can't go and investigate it now. I've drawn out all red ones. Anyway, uh, let's see whether we can feed them first. There was one of those enemies flying around that has the nectar as well. But there it is. May as well if we're going to fight a boss. And there's another one over here. That wasn't as good as I was hoping. There's some more. Uh, Pikmin 99 could actually work. I don't know what you would need to do, but... I mean, the concept works. How have I only got 98? Where's the other two? What is he doing over there? Oh well. You're on your own. Pikmin bud. Let's see what comes out of the sand, shall we? What's going on? Uh Oh my god. They're all going to get stomped on. I think maybe yellow ones are better because you can throw them more easily at the uh, at the bit at the middle. That was horrible. The guard satellite. Deep space is filled with dangers. This automated satellite does its part to help guard both me and my spaceship. I'll sleep better at night once this little satellite is back on duty. I'm so sorry, little red Pikmin. Go and refuel. Take these tablets with you. That was... that was horrible. Well, it worked, and now we have to go and fight a giant mushroom next. There was probably a better way to do that. Well, at least we're nearly done anyway. We can refuel here. I suppose I should time it so I get the right colours. Uh, blue, then red. I'm so slow with them! Damn it! I messed up every time. Well, while they're all doing that... Oh, I really can't be bothered to go that far. I want to know what that green thing is over there. Oh, it means there's one planted. Okay. There was one of those red flowers over the, in the corner. Alright, we've got one more bit left on this level. Satellite guard. This is... This has protected me from space pirates many, many times. Is that a Metroid reference? Ah! Red ones aren't allowed in the water! I didn't even know I had any with me. Get out, get out! Oh my god, I actually timed it right. Twice. I think we've nearly recuperated. Uh, lost Pikmin. I'm going to restock first before trying to face the boss. Oh, whoops. Have that one. If you, um, if you use the right colour, then you basically get double. Double the amount back at the onion. Why are they both picking up the same one? I don't think there's enough here to get back to 100. Might have to just attempt it with what we've got. I suppose I can pull some more out. There's loads. Maybe I should have done that and you don't need to bother picking them out of the ground. 
Okay. Alright, let's try. Come on. I don't want to fight them, I just want to go straight to the boss. Why did I come this way? Uh... Have I stunk out everyone? Oh no. I probably don't even need to be fighting this stupid frog anyway. He's just killing people for no good reason. Come on. Ready? Let's make them run into his feet, I guess. Is that what we're meant to do? Make him fall over and then throw him at his bum. Ah, there we go. Yay, I found the Omega Stabilizer. I absolutely must have this piece if if my battered ship is ever to fly straight again. It has steered me through countless deep space storms. That, and it looks rather cool. Oh, wow, we need 30 for that one. I think I've got enough. I can just leave them like that and I'll pick it up themselves. And I was right to come here with just red ones. Yay. Now there's... Is there one more? No, that's it. No, this is the last one. Uh, having played Pikmin 3, I was imagining Pikmin 1 to be more primitive. Yeah, it's pretty... It's pretty, um... Full-featured. They basically nailed the concept from the first game and then the rest of them were just sort of adding... Adding more and more ideas to it. But yeah, there's nothing about Pikmin 1 that especially feels missing or wrong, if that makes sense. Like, It's definitely a fantastic game on its own. It still holds up really well too. And it's still so unique as well, even today. Such a weird blend of strategy and exploration. And resource management, I guess. Hey, we got back up to 100. We can spend the rest of this time trying to find some nectar. Look at the ball carrying stuff back over. Is there anywhere else to go? I guess I could um, go and pick that one up that's stuck in the corner. Omega Stabilizer. This is the Dolphin's Fin. It's a little beaten up, but it should still function. I've made great strides in repairing the Dolphin. With this, I should be able to fly again. Even if I don't recover all 30. I have now recovered 18 out of 30. If I can find just 11 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Okay, I'm going to leave everyone here. And... Take the uh, pilgrimage to rescue the, the lone red Pikmin. Oh, okay. And bring him with me as well, I guess. There we go. I didn't even realise he was there. Let's just ignore this guy. I think I'm going the right way. Is he still coming? Yes, very slowly. There he is. He's been waiting all this time. Oh no! I'm sorry, I forgot about you and then I leave you to drown. Get out! Get out! Quick! Get out! Oh, I think he was trapped. Come on! Has he got to come all the way over here? Uh, I'm not going to save him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, thank God. I really thought he was dead. 
I feel so bad. Ooh, what's going on? Hero of Hylia raided with seven viewers. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? What have you been watching Hero of Hylia play? Woo! It's going great, thanks. I've been really enjoying replaying Pikmin 1. What an amazing game. I'm doing quite well as well. I just finished uh, wrapping up this area. And I almost killed this guy. He almost drowned. But I managed to rescue him at the last minute. There's everyone else. And these ones have turned into flowers. Well, not quite. But we better rescue them before the sun goes out. And I think that's literally everything we can do. For now. There are five more somewhere. Apparently. Behind me. Uh, I guess that's something we can do. We can... Uh, feed some of the... Feather ones. Some nectar. Are they not all going to grow flowers? What happened? Some of them did. Uh, there's literally nothing left for me to do in this stage. You haven't played Pikmin for a very long time? No, you should play Pikmin 4. It was it was really good. There we go. We are done. We can go to sunset. That level is complete now. Yay! We're doing really well, actually. We've got a lot of ship parts for this point in the game. And we've actually already got enough to leave the planet. Oh, I missed that I got a follow a few hours ago as well from Sunny Jim 67 So if you're still here, thank you for the follow. Uh, ten days since impact. Hope has begun to well up within me for the dolphin's repair and my own chances for a reunion with my dear family. Tomorrow I shall go forth with a new attitude and continue my exploration in a different region. I hope that fortune will smile upon me. Let's see how our population's going. We didn't leave any behind this time. We lost 50 in battle. You have to excuse me as I wind down and get ready for bed. No problem. Lurk away. We can go back. Have we finished both of them? We can go back to the first area because there is one more thing that we can pick up there. Shall we go and do that? Let's go and do that. I love this music so much. Hey, there's a bunch of new pellets that we can pick up as well. Nice. Let's start with the yellow ones, because uh, that is the one that I keep running out of. For some reason, so. Let's take out 50 yellows. And we'll do 25 each of the other colours. This is something I miss in Pikmin 4. You don't get to choose. You don't get to choose your specific... Well, you do get to choose. But... It's easier just to... Um... Ah, there's a thing there. I guess they'll pick their own colours. In Pikmin 4, it's easier just to press auto and let the game decide... What it thinks you should use. Can I go up there? Oh, okay. I can fly up there. Let's see, what colours have I got? I guess you can go back to the starting area just as a... as a way of gathering. There's just pellets everywhere. I don't even care what colour they pick up. Take whatever you want. It was a bit lazy of me to throw a blue one at the yellow one, but never mind. Ah, I can't even see that. It's hidden. Why would they put that there? Completely out of sight. Anyway, there is actually some stuff to do on this level. It's not just farming. Let's 
but that is one point of the stage. Just to bonk the numbers up a little bit. Whee. There's so many everywhere. Oh my god. There's even more over here. I'm sorry I remember one of these being a slide, but I guess not. There's going to be just random ones left lounging around everywhere. Idle, should I say, not lounging around. I guess they kind of are though, aren't they? Lazy Pikmin. Okay. There's some stuff to do over there. Well, I guess we should actually go and do the level. Have I got everyone? Alright, let's go. Oh no, there's even more pellets first. There's this thing to flip over. How many is he going to drop? I really miss the uh, thing in Pikmin 4 where you can call them all back. Because that one who's waiting over there on his own, I could I could get him to come with me though. No, we need to... Ah! Oh my god, I forgot about that. I think he's supposed to throw the blue one. Oh my god, what? Why are they all dying? I think I threw a bomb, accidentally. Okay, okay, this is going horribly. I wasted all them pellets that I just picked up, oh my god. Shoot, that was... That was terrible. I remembered something... Something scary happens there, but I had no recollection of what it actually was. Okay. Let's go and tackle it with some more blue ones then. Not the yellow ones. The yellow ones can go up there. I don't want to get stuck in it. What a weird enemy. I also remember a bit later on, there's one that's like um, inside a shell and you have to wait for the shell to open or something. Come on, come on. Oh my god, that noise. It's slowly going down. Seriously. I could go back and get some more yellow ones while I'm waiting. It's nearly done. I didn't realise there's some waiting down there. I can't believe how badly I've done this level. How did blue ones get up there? I don't understand how blue ones got up there. I guess we'll have to do this in two parts. <laughs> it's a good job that I that I picked up some uh, picked up all them pellets at the start of this level. So that was just embarrassing. Is that enough? 
Yay, we got enough. No, they can all join in. I don't think there's any bombs left though, so unfortunately we won't actually be able to get any further. Oh, there they are. That's what I was remembering. Oh, I wonder if I can... No, I probably can't. Maybe. I'm going to try and cheat here and throw them on this side. And then get their attention. And pull them around like that. Oh my god, it actually worked! And then make them freeze. Will they start hitting it? Oh my god, they actually did! Yes. That is not the intended way to do it, but it works. Okay, those two are going to be stuck there. Let's see if we can do that with some more of them. Although it won't really help anyway, because we need the bombs to actually get through ourselves. And there were some yellow ones hidden there in the in the leaves. I didn't notice them either. Let's take the yellow ones inside. Is there any other bombs in there? No. There's another one of them annoying creatures. They can help recover some some lost Pikmin. Ha! <laughs> yes, sequence break. Hey, Fight Magic Items is here again. Hello! Uh, I'll see if I can sequence break again. Get some more on the side of the wall. I wonder if the yellow ones can be thrown over here, actually. That's even easier! The blue ones can't, but... It's actually going down. I can't believe I've managed to do that. I'm probably going to lose them all at the end of the day, but... Okay, now go this way! Go this way! This is something you can't do in the later Pikmin games. You can't control them. Oh my god, it actually worked! No, everyone. Come over here. Can I get them all back down? That is the question now. There's one blue one who's not listening. But... Uh, what is he doing? He's just stuck there. I've probably made this really difficult for myself. There's Pikmin all loose around here as well. Whoa. Did we rescue them all? Or is there still one left? Well, what we can do... If they're in this area, they're safe. When it comes to night time anyway, so we can leave them. And as long as I go back up... Uh, and just make sure that one's active. It should count. Where's the other ones around here? Oh, they're inside the box. Oh, there is a yellow one with a bomb as well. Awesome. Let's try. We've still got a bit of time. Let's see if that is enough to break the wall. Yay, it was! Okay. Maybe there is time to try and do something then. Uh, we don't need any yellow ones now. Put them back. Wait for them to disappear and we'll swap them out for blue ones. Okay. Now, I remember this bit being a bit annoying. So let's see if we can actually not lose all of these, like I just did with that other boss fight just now. Okay, and hopefully we don't lose too many going down the slope either. Right, and up, 
No. Okay. This is more difficult than it needs to be. Come up the slope. We lost about half of them. Okay, you guys stay there. <laughs> There's another set. Leave them guys there. And then the stragglers. I'm just going to throw them over. That works. We got everyone. No. If I remember right, the timing on this is really annoying because it stays open for quite a while. And pull them back. That was close. I don't know which ones you actually need in order to finish the level. I guess it's that one. Is that the one that's showing on the map? Yeah, that one. Let's see if we can get it before we run out of time. Probably not. Come on, I want to finish this stage so we don't have to come back here. Maybe we should come back here anyway to get that other pearl. Because I think they give you a lot of Pikmin. And then we can move on to that third area that we unlocked. Are we not even going to be able to crack it open, really? Yay, we did it. Let's see what it was. With five seconds to spare. A positron generator. By combining batteries with solar cells, this machine can generate incredible amounts of electricity. What a timely find. Those instant space noodles will taste better heated up. Okay, at least we can start moving it. Very slightly. Move it out of the water at least. Alright, I guess we should come back in here after and just clean this area up before we move on. May as well get that last piece. £85 for a Donkey Kong Game & Watch. Complete in box. I've got a load of stuff on my eBay watch list. What do you guys think about that? Complete in box, original Donkey Kong. Dual screen. It looks like it's in nice condition. Uh, actually it is. There's a few scratches on the top. Probably can't tell on the camera, but it is quite scratched up. The inside looks alright though. Anyway, 11 days since impact. It is very strange. The scenery of this planet, which I once found hostile, now sometimes strikes me as pleasantly serene. Perhaps the Pikmin have opened my heart to the beauty of this world. I even started thinking that there were some parts I do not need. A daydream. We'll get all the parts, don't worry. Oh, how many did I lose? 53. It felt like more. So we finished everything in the Forest Naval, and we finished everything in the Forest of Hope as well now. Distant Spring is next, we haven't got any in that area. But first... Should we go back and round out the intro area? I guess so. Let's go and do that first. Not much left to do. Oh, we do have all the um, all the stuff back. Let's get out all the blue ones first. Uh, go and get them to work. You don't need the grass. You've all got flowers. I'm going to ignore everything else for now. And just go back and get the... Uh, uh, I missed a few, never mind. I'm gonna go and finish up. Uh, 
What did it do the first time then? It didn't do any damage. I forgot that there's that weird, like, um, I don't even know what you would call that thing in there. Uh, actually, let's let's do the other ones while we're up here. Yeah, there we go. That's the last official piece that we need to get in this area. Let's see what it, Olimar has to say about it. Positron generator. This electric generator is so powerful that if you approach it carelessly, you'll get an electric shock. I have now recovered 19 out of 30 parts. If I find just 10 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Hey, get to the side. Hey, it did go to half eye. Sorry guys, this bit's probably really boring for you to watch. But we'll be done here soon. I just may as well spend the rest of the time as we ended up going back here. Oh, there is one more. Oh well. Let's go back and grab some more Pikmins. There's all sorts of different colours that we can have as well, though. I think mostly reds, actually, to fight this boss. Let's try that. And I really don't care about what colours to pick up here. Just throw everything in randomly. I hope that one didn't get stuck around the back. Oh, it's okay. They can get back. <laughs> Whoops. I just threw him off the edge completely. What are you doing up there? Yeah, there's something over there you can go and get. We can go and take the yellow ones over there. Oh yeah, where's my... Oh, they have to go up here, don't they? Yeah, there's that annoying bug. He's got loads of pellets inside him too. Where's the thing for me? There should be... Something here for me. There we go. At least with these ones, I should sort the colours out. I don't think I did that blue one properly. Wait! There we go. I fixed it at the last minute. Anyone still left over here? There's one Pikmin all on his own. Are you blind? Should we go and try and face that boss now? Maybe the best thing to do is take a bunch of yellow ones and throw rocks at it. Come on. That last one's so stupid. Uh, I want to just get them ones. Ready? Ah, 
Oh, oh wow, that didn't do much. Okay. I thought it would do more than that. Alright then, let's bring everyone else up. Try and swap it for red ones, I guess. There we go. Oh my god, look at them all. They've all been squashed into the floor. This bit's just busy work, really. There's not really anything left to do in this area. How many is that? 19? There's some yellow ones. I need one more yellow one. There we go. And red ones. These are the most annoying enemies to fight. Yay, we did it. Grab your little gem reward. I need to go and get some more blue ones. And then we're officially done with this area and we can move on to somewhere new. Get some more blues. That's basically all we need at this point. We can get rid of all the other ones. I'm trying to make sure that there's no Pikmin left outside so we don't have to wait for the uh, pellets to grow. Oh well, one's okay. Why is this the only way in? This is annoying. Because sometimes they fall off the slope. I didn't need that many either. I only needed 20. Get back! Why is there a yellow one here? That's it. That's literally everything to do in this stage. I think. Let me just double check. Yeah, that's it. Apart from picking up the stragglers. All the ones that got stuck on the other side of this box. Yeah. 
There's two. There's a blue one stuck right at the top. And there's a yellow one stuck over here somewhere. There he is. Okay, everyone can wait here. I'll go and find that lost blue one, and then we can finish this stage. And never return. Although I think there is some sort of special boss if you return at a certain time or on a certain day or something. But yeah, that's it for now. Hey, we've actually got over a thousand Pikmin now. Shame you can't have them all out at once, that would be fun. He's upset we didn't leave any behind. Twelve days since impact. The Pikmin always carry their prey back to the onions. Close observation indicates that taking food pellets to the onions of the same colour results in the release of large numbers of Pikmin seeds. I also found ways to group Pikmin by colour. I can hold A to grab one and press R to swap it out, or I can press A to grab one for a moment and press X to dismiss them into coloured groups. But yes, I found that out a long time ago. Oh wow, we actually have more blue Pikmin than any other colour now. <clears throat> okay, we are done in that place. We're done there. And we're done there. So now we have a very daunting amount of stars in the distant spring with 13 days to go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 13 days to go and 10 pieces to pick up. We've got this. I don't even know where to begin. Let's begin with the map. I always remember this place being so daunting. Look how much stuff's here. Um, shall we venture out into the water first? As that's the first thing I saw. The water effects still look really nice. Even though this is a game that's like 20... 23 years old at this point. I'm not looking forward to bringing some of them across that bridge. You have to bring yellow ones over there. Let's start with making this bridge, shall we? The Pikmin that are carrying our spoils seem to be milling around in one place with their loads. It appears that the path back to the Onion is blocked and faced with what seems to be an insurmountable obstacle. They have lost their focus. This is unacceptable. I'll have to determine what is blocking their way. I think we can tell what's blocking their way. There's a black bong bob. That's a bit scary. That's going to take ages. Uh, well, some of them are doing that. We can take some back and swap them for yellow ones. Or maybe we can try and take out this frog first. Should we try that? Really? I didn't think any of them had died then. I hate these frogs so much. You can only get a few hits in before you have to call them back. Unless the idea is to just keep them on top like that, maybe. Maybe I just wasn't aiming properly. That does seem easier. 
Okay. Carry away. They don't want to share properly. Well, the bridge is made. Two more on there. And let's see what else is around. There's some more frogs. Seems very dangerous fighting two frogs right next to each other. And remembering to hold down the L button to move them is a bit scary as well. Give up. I think I've got better at fighting them. See what this weird egg is. Fight the weird egg. It's going to come to life. There's a scary ghost inside it. Oh no. Run away! I think it's coming for me. I also think it just eats any Pikmin that get in the way. I remember it from Pikmin 2 running around in the caves. Oh shoot, it's gonna come up. Oh my god, go away. I'm gonna put everyone back. This is too scary. Get in, get in, quick! What's it doing? I'm gonna try and attack it? Yeah, they're just dying instantly. Oh my god. Get back inside. Now what? I don't know what to do. Is it just gonna walk off? I shouldn't have opened that egg. Okay, I'm going to try and guide, I don't know how many I need, 20 maybe? Try and guide some of the yellow ones over here. Without them falling in the water. Oh, where was I? Where was I looking earlier? Oh, it's another bit over here. We can take blue ones to do that. But I think it was this bit needs the yellow Pikmin. Oh, it doesn't even need yellow ones, you just need to... You just needed to direct them up the top. I thought you had to throw them up here. Damn it. 
You're telling me I could have just sent any color. Well, we did it. Although, I'm going to have to be very careful on calling them back. I found the repair type bolt. This robotic marvel can fix up just about anything in the ship that's broken. That's good, because I get terribly, bo terribly bored fixing little glitches. Okay, okay. Okay, some of them are dead. There is no saving them. I don't think there's anything I can do. And the best thing I can do for the other ones is to send them back around the top. I'm sorry. Well, it wasn't completely the end of the world, I suppose. Didn't need them at all. I don't know what to do about that scary, creepy thing that's standing right there. He's not leaving either. Is that anything? No. Nope. Okay, looks like yellow ones up here with bombs are probably the best. Can I not just pick it up from here and take it across the water? Oh, you can't take things across the water in this one, can you? I found the massage machine. Put this right down in the lower back area and let it get to work. I can't wait until I get it installed again as my lower lumbar region has been paining me ever since the crash. Ah, sweet relief. Oh yeah, I hope these are going to be okay and not get eaten by that ghost thing. It's just hanging around the red Pikmin's base. Why? Don't come any closer. Ah! Come on, you only need to take it like one inch that way. Oh my god. That's scary. Ah! Repair type bolt. This looks like an ordinary bolt, but it's actually a repair robot. I have now recovered 20 out of 30 parts. If I can find just nine more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Uh... Let's see what we can do over here then. With some yellow and some blue. Uh, apart from make them drown. Come on. Come on. You can get out of there. Now let's keep them safe in the corner. Over here. And some of them can, uh, let's say one, two, three, four. Hey, it actually worked. So easy as well. No way. I guess it doesn't really matter what colour we use. Just pick it up. That was surprisingly easy. How many do we need to pick this guy up? Oh, there's enough for both. No more bombs. We don't need any more bombs. Well, we probably do, but not here. Is that everyone? Let's go. We got another piece. 
Maybe I shouldn't have thrown them ones. Whoops. I want to get rid of the bombs. How do I just get rid of them? I don't think you can. I can try throwing one at the uh, at the ghost thing up here. Maybe. Or distract it. Oh, it did work. Could have tried doing that a few more times. Yes. Follow me. We got the massage machine. I've been walking so much lately, I'm really looking forward to using this. I've now recovered 21 out of 30 parts. If I can find just 8 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. I don't think so. Look at all these enemies trying to get to me. Once we've got all these. Uh... Hey, you let go. Oh no, the ghost thing's back. I don't really know what it's doing. I might just end there because it's just getting a bit overwhelming I'm going to end the day send the ones I had with me back home and we can try again I think we did pretty well though, we got two parts this is where it starts to get a little bit nervous because you only have a certain amount of days left to try and get everything but I think we're doing good Oh no, poor lonely yellow one being eaten all on his own. 13 days since impact. There appears to be a large cluster of parts here. If my calculations are correct, then I should be able to cover virtually all of the missing ship parts. But not quite all of them, unfortunately. There still seems to be some pieces that remain uncounted for. I must find eight more parts to further increase the dolphin's range. We can do it. Nine parts remaining, 17 days remaining. Easy. I remember as a kid I used to really struggle playing this game, but I'm whizzing through it now. Pretty much everything's done up until this point. Alright, let's dive back in. And... What do we need? More blue? Yeah, more blue. Let's try and get whatever's way over there. Without waking up that ghost this time. Or should we get some reds? Let's get some reds first. And we can take out these enemies that are right next to us. Let's go all out. All out attack. When those two blue ones have gone in, we can get the last two out as well. It should be 100. Alright, let's go. It stood no chance. And then let's do the same for this. Oh, this one is quite dangerous. The best thing to do with these ones is to bring the yellow ones with the bombs over. But maybe we'll be okay. Just do not get in front of him. Because that will happen. Although, it's fine. We can replenish. Easy. Oh, maybe we can get some yellow ones to throw some bombs.
Oh, come on. It should have gave it to more than just them. Oh, well. Let's take a few out. We can swap a few for some yellow ones. Oh, not yet. Or should we let them build this? Ah, that's why we need the bombs, to blow that bridge up. Not to defeat the black ball bob. Okay. Is there anything else in this maze-like place? Not that I can see just yet. There is no reason for anyone to be up there. Alright, we'll attempt... Attempt to kill this guy and clear the path for the bombs for the yellow one. Oh, wow. Nice. I didn't expect that to go so easily. Oh, no. I think we're missing a few reds. We don't even need to put any back to get the yellows out. So, let's max that out while we can. And bring these ones back over with us too. And then we can go and get bombs. Now, there's two walls to blow up. There's one right here as well. So, let's start with this one, I guess. Uh, I don't know how many's in there for. Five? Has he found something? No, he just walked off. Okay. One. I'll do it one at a time so I don't blow up. Maybe we'll need to find some more bombs somewhere. We can get some blues and make that bridge over there. Don't send anyone up there just yet. Let's swap all these out for some blue ones then and we can attempt to make the bridge on that side. And then the next day we come back in then we can use the rest of the bombs to uh, swap for the other yellow ones. And get in there I suppose. Oh my god there's so much to do. Alright, come out blues. We have 500 of them. Come out faster. There we go. Okay, let's see if they can find some food first. Is there some more there? May as well, if the option's there. Makes it a bit less frustrating, doesn't it, when you're walking around. Don't need any more, come on. Your work here is done. I'm going to send 50 of you to either side of that, once we've killed this frog anyway. You know, I th said I was getting better at fighting these frogs. I lied. Is there any point calling them back? They seem to move too slowly anyway. How many have I got left? 81. Kind of split it halfway if we can. 
And then while they're doing this, I'll go and take out some of the Pikmin and see what they can do. Or we can go and explore. Oh, my light just went really bright because for some reason the uh, lights seem to have a mind of their own. Sometimes. Right, what else is there to do? When that's bombed, we can come through here and send some blue ones to break that. And some of the ones to break that one. This place is massive. It's so overwhelming with the amount of stuff to do. Finding bombs seems to be one of the most difficult things in this game. I guess inside that skull is the only place where you can get them. Really? Is that all they is that all they're gonna do? Well, we can send seven, is it? Yeah, send seven seven of them over there. Oh, are they not actually doing anything? Really? You were all just here fighting that stupid fly the whole time? How annoying. I thought they were busy building the bridge. Let's go and see what this says. I found the gluon drive. Using the quark binding metaphysical properties of the gluons, this device is very scientific. I don't fully understand it myself, but it was very expensive. Okay. I think Olimar's just really gullible. He'll just buy into anything. You two, stop hiding away under there. I think that one thinks he's helping. You see him trapped under there. There you go. Go up. I freed him. And these ones need to stop walking around in circles and get to work too. And then we wait until it gets joined up. <laughs> that one on the end. Such a weird animation. Look at him. Huh? Was he confused? I was looking at him. Nearly done. Why is that one so much longer than the other side? Keep going. Yay! Now let's go and grab all the stuff. Did they think they were going to surprise me by needing 50? I'm not sure what the point of that is. If you can get over there anyway. I suppose I can try and take out one of these frogs. Is it not going to try and jump on me? I was actually trying to take my time then. The one time I tried to fight it properly. Gluon drive. I have no idea how this works, but it means that the dolphin will again be able to lift off with its characteristic roar. I have now recovered 22 out of 30 parts. Just find seven more to be able to increase its capabilities. Sorry, that's enough to kill it. Come on. Yay. Not that we can do anything just yet, but... 
At least if I kill the other one, we'll have a chance to... Uh... Oh no, did one of them die? Uh, I'm doing a lot worse with this one. I thought having less of them fighting would make it easier. Because they wouldn't keep getting stomped on. Get out of the way! I've only got five left. Oh dear. Well, at least once these ones are done. We can set them on here. I'll go and get the rest. They'll just have to come around the side. Maybe we can at least make a start on it. Oh my god. I didn't expect anything going on here. Why is he walking around planting them in weird places? Oh well. Forget about him. I know it's almost sundown. I want to try and do something. On. We can at least get it down halfway. There we go. Is one of them just trying to pick that up on his own? Get over there. There we go. We can just wait here now until sundown. Can we do it? We have eight seconds to finish. Yeah, we can do it. Come on! Yay! Let's go and see what this piece is, even if we can't do anything with it just yet. It's my zirconium rotor. It's made from rust-proof zirconium, which is particularly suited to making spaceship parts. I had to pay a lot extra to have this installed, and I suspect the mechanic overcharged me. He really is terrible with money. Alright, I guess that's it for this session. And unfortunately, I might have to call it a night here as well, because it is half past 11, and we have to get up for work tomorrow. So I'll just let this cutscene play out, and I'll probably end it here. So thank you everyone who's watched me playing Pikmin tonight. I know it wasn't the most exciting stream for some of you, because you're probably hoping me to play more Game Boy games, but I'll go crazy if I just keep doing that every time. 14 days since Impact. When I see the Pikmin engaged in fierce battle with the other creatures of this world, I often grow uneasy wondering why, why they never attack me. Could it be that they actually view me as a parental figure? A strange, disturbing thought. There we go. We will leave you tonight with that strange and disturbing thought of Alamar being the Pikmin's parent. And hopefully I can stream this again soon before next Tuesday maybe maybe I'll even stream it tomorrow if I'm feeling up to it so thank you everyone I really really enjoyed replaying Pikmin and I can't wait to finish this off so I'll see you all again very soon alright bye for now